uh, this is a trial exam for the hollow slides. This is a small or moderate, moderate size uh, luminal organ with a very characteristic uh, branching of the mucosa and folding of the mucosa with surrounding connective tissue. This is fallopian tube. Second slide, large hollow, lumen is well demarked and inverted Y-shaped crypts, lymphatic follicles, which are aggregations of lymphocytes, are present all over the circumference of this organ. Muscle cannot be uh, well demarked in this uh, structure. This is the appendix. The third organ, a hollow, large, lined by stratified squamous with a complete ring of uh, muscularis mucosa red stained. This is esophagus cat. Small hollow organ with stellate or star shaped lumen. Lining epithelium is transitional. Submucosa narrow and the muscle is not well developed, or the submucosa is evident here before the muscle. This is the ureter. And the, the second one is the larger hollow line, also by transitional epithelium with the rounded nuclei at the top. And the wall is formed mainly of the muscle found in three bundles inner in the form of circles, middle in the form of the spindle. And finally, the circus. This is a renal bladder. The second is the uh, hollow organ with the lymphatic tissue only at one side, not all the circumference, formed of the villi, as you see, and the crypts are not inverted Y. The lymphoid follicles at one side, this is the ileum. The next is large hollow lined by stratified squamous epithelium, and the uh, wall shows the mucous glands in addition to well developed muscular tissue. Inner circle, outer longitudinal, this is esophagus dot. Uh, a large hollow organ with rosette shaped uh, mucosa with white striations formed by the crypts and the crypts show goblet cells resting on the muscle this is the large intestine small hollow organ with uh, this uh, epithelium formed of one or two layers of nuclei and no submucosa or very narrow submucosa as the muscle is very thick this is vase and fine, and this is a large hollow organ with the characteristic C-shaped cartilage. It is the trachea. This is a large hollow, but it is compressed or flattened with flattened lumen. And the lining epithelium is very thick stratified squamous like that of oesophagus dog and oesophagus cat, but it differs from uh, oesophagus dog by the fact that no mucous glands are present here in the connective tissue corium. Actually, it has no submucosa. Also, it differs from the oesophagus of the cat by the absence of the muscularis mucosa. And actually, it is characterized by the presence of many blood vessels in this connective tissue corium belonging to the mucosa, and the muscle is not uh, well developed or uh, it is thin, and it is compressed with an compressed or flattened lumen. This is the vagina. And finally, in this group of the uh, luminal organs, I have this uh, structure rounded with uh, the lumen also flattened, but the structure is rounded with the presence of the endometrial glands and the muscle layer is very thick and it is characterized by the presence of uh, many blood vessels. This is the uterus. 
Thank you very much.